Okay, here's the, the problem solving video for problem 2.112. It says find V0. If we look at our circuit there, we'll note that we have a single node pair circuit. We've got a node at the top, a node at the bottom. All those elements are connected in parallel. We have a dependent source, so we're going to utilize problem solving strategies on page 41 for single node pair circuits. And uh, page 53 for circuits with dependent sources. Uh, the first step in the single node pair circuit strategy says define a voltage. Well, we're going to find V0. Let's let that be our defined voltage. So in essence, we've already got a voltage V0 defined. Step 2 says using Ohm's law, define a current flowing through each resistor in terms of the defined voltage. So for instance, this is V0 over 12K, V0 over 6K, and then this is V0 over 4K. So we've satisfied step two. Step three says apply KCL at one of the two nodes. We'll do that at the top. And if you look at the problem solving strategy on uh, page 53, it says when you got a dependent source, just treat it as a, an independent source during the application of Kirchhoff's current law. So now let's apply Kirchhoff's current law to the top node. Will some currents leaving and set it equal to zero? So this current is leaving V0 over 4K. This current's entering. So we have minus 6 milliamps plus V0 over 6K. This current's entering, so that's minus 0.5 IX. This current's leaving is V0 over 12K. And by Kirchhoff's current law, that's equal to zero. Now, let's uh, rearrange this equation slightly. So we're just collecting terms. Now, step two of that strategy on page 53 says, uh, write the equation that specifies the relationship between the dependent source and its controlling parameter. Well, if we look in our circuit, Ix is V0 over 4K. So now, if we substitute that in, we'll have V0, we'll have 1 over 4K plus 1 over 6K plus 1 over 12K is minus 0.5 times V0 over 4K equal to 6 milliamps. Now, we need to just uh, work on the algebra sum. Uh, and if we do that, uh, for instance, we could rewrite this V0 times 0.5 over 4K plus 1 over 6K plus 1 over 12K is equal to 6 milliamps. And if we go through and solve, V0 is equal to 16 volts.